Aiden Bates here, and I'm one of Australia's only registered and authenticated Shopify experts. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove shipping calculator at checkout from your product page and your cart page. Now, basically on your Shopify website, if there's any text and you're not sure how to change it, it's normally in this thing called languages on your website. So basically on your product page, we're still building out this page in this uh, this website in the series of videos as well. So subscribe if you want to learn how to update your website and stuff. But basically, if you find text like this and you're not sure how to change it or or remove it, it's probably in languages. So if you're in your back end of Shopify and you click online store and then themes, you go into the customizer. So over here, this might be our theme and then you click these little dots here and it'll say edit default theme content. Now, sometimes maybe if you're, if you're watching this in the future, Shopify actually changes what those, those words say. It's, it used to say edit languages and now it says edit default theme content. So it will be something like that. And you'll come to a page very similar to the one that is loading at the moment. It will have a search bar here. So filter items. You can actually paste in that text that was on the website and it should show you where all the text is. So see how it says cart here. So it says sections cart. It has the code for tax included shipping and discounts calculator checkout. You can actually change the words here if you want. Uh, you just don't want to change this link here. So this is actually linking to the shipping policy. Uh, or if you want to remove it completely, you just highlight it and press space and then save over here. Now, same with this one, see how it says product, shipping policy, shipping calculated at checkout. You could press space and then press save. And now on our website, these should be removed. So if we refresh this page, it's gone now. And then if we go over to the cart, this is where it is here. If we refresh it, now the reason why this didn't refresh is because think we need to do it like this. Yeah, we didn't, we had the space at the end. Uh, we had the dot at the end, so it wasn't registering it. So see how there's other sections here that have it. So we're just going to remove it from here. And then if we go back, it should be removed in a minute. It might take, yep. See how it's removed now on some theme templates, it will still say taxes included. So what you just do is come back here and just type tax taxes. For example, this theme doesn't have that section that I'm talking about, but some do. The other thing as well, a lot of people want to remove powered by Shopify down here. So see how it says powered by Shopify. If you type in powered by Shopify here, you can actually press space and it'll remove it. In a later video, I might show you how you can actually use that powered by Shopify to your advantage to actually make more money. If you want me to show you how to do that, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you're in the checkout page, so if you go to the next one, there's lots of things in the checkout that people want to change here as well. So for example, if you didn't want to say delivery here or contact here, that would be in your, um, your, your edit default content as well. It would be in this section. Same with like payment, uh, different things like that. So there's lots of different sections where you have to come in here. You can actually look through here as well if you want. So if we do here, it's got like newsletter, blogs, all that sort of stuff. But basically the only real sections that I use this section for is remove shipping, calculate a checkout, powered by Shopify, and how to change like stuff in the checkout words and things like that. Most of the other stuff, can be changed through the template as well. That's it for this video. Hopefully you like that. Uh, come along on the journey, making like heaps of tutorial videos on how to build a Shopify website. So subscribe, follow along, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.